Good afternoon, I'm currently at Temple News in Leeds, which is about a mile and a half from where I live. I decided to set myself a challenge because I've seen the colours changing in the trees. It's going to be autumn, abstract, triptych. So it's going to be three photographs in trip presented in triptych format. I've decided to get in close to some autumn leaves. I'm looking to get yellow leaves, orange leaves and red leaves. Long exposures so they are ethereal and abstract. These are, this is one of the few trees that are red. There is a red tree on the Temple Newsom golf course. I believe it's the 13th fairway. But I'm not going to go doing a vlog and taking photographs there because I know what will happen. Glorious weather. It's due to rain at some point this afternoon around four o'clock I believe so I'm okay for now. So I've been up close with this section just there. My camera was about around there I was zoomed in at 150 millimeters. I've, I've taken various exposure lens from half a second, one second and two seconds because the trees are moving which is what I want so I get the blurred motion within the trees and I'll see what they turn out like when I get them home. It's going to be, as I say, triptych, so it'll be three square photographs. I'm looking for a yellow photograph, an orange photograph, and a red photograph. I think it worked really well. I've got the polarizer on, as I said, to take the glare off the leaves, which is quite difficult because they are at different angles, so you can't get the glare off completely. And I've had to kind of maneuver the leaves because I don't want any of the green foliage in. So that's hopefully the red one done. I'm off for a walk into the forest to try to find the yellow and the orange. And we'll see what they look like. A nice simple challenge for a Saturday afternoon. You want to join in? Have a go. Not all Photography vlogs have to be complex, grand. You can get in for intimate photography. So onwards, see ya. The good thing about this challenge, and I use the challenge loosely because it's no challenge, it's extremely relaxing. I could stand in the middle of the bloody Sahara Desert There'd be nobody around, and as soon as I get my camera out, somebody would walk over a bloody dune. I've been here for about half an hour and I've not seen a soul. As soon as I start talking, somebody bloody walks up. Anyway, I thought, walking through the woods back there, something fell down the back of my neck, I thought it was a twig. Reached in, a bloody wasp stung me. I thought, I'll have a look at the symptoms for anaphylactic shock, as you do. And I already had the symptoms before I got bloody stung. Wheezy, shortness of breath, clammy skin, etc, etc. <laughs> so this may be my last vlog. I jest and I digress. Just a quick handheld. This is what I've got for the moment. The last one didn't work. So the point of view I had meant that the camera was pointing up. When I composed it initially, it was fine because the clouds behind it were the same tone as the leaves, but the clouds shifted and it became very bright. <clears throat> as a consequence, there was a lot of blur. There were burnt out sections. So there we go, shooting these here. Not ideal because there are green bits in it and as it moves, you and as the leaves move, they shift and show the green parts. Yeah, so all I need to do now is get my orange. Not a lot of orange. What you do, you do see trees, you think, where are we? You do see trees, you think, may look good, because they've got some lovely, ooh, that's a warm head. 
they've got some lovely oranges in them but as you get closer a lot of the leaves the leaves separate so you don't get the kind of composition that you want but cars over there I'll head back I'm enjoying this difficult to photograph because with the wind you have to vary your exposure times quite rapidly from half a second to two seconds when they move you have to use a faster shutter speed because you don't need enough you don't need when they're moving fast you don't need as long a uh, shutter speed as they are now there's a lot of movement that's captured quite quickly but if they're static or there's little movement you have to use a longer exposure just felt a spot of rain mm. so i'll leave it there i'll try to hunt out my orange as i'm going back to the car forgot to bring a drink so i'm absolutely gagging same as last time polarizer point six polarizer lee six stop which is giving me the exposures i need mostly shooting at 150 7.1 for this one down to around f11 it's working anyway i shall see you it's getting busy as well so as i was walking back to my car having not seen much orange at all i've got a yellow got a red i saw through the trees a patch of orange orange so i've waded through all this fern <coughs> to get here that's what my hat's on because my boulder head is shining like you wouldn't believe again quite close i've got the six stop on i've got the lee polarizer on the landscape polarizer and, and as i've been shooting most of the day i am at 150 mil to get as close as i can square format because i'm under shade i've had to extend the shutter and i'm shooting anywhere between four and six seconds and even at six seconds i've had to tap the stalk of the fern to get some movement in it i don't want to put the tent stop on because with the tettings i have i'll be here several minutes and i'm not going to do that on this occasion because i've been out far too long so i've got my yellow i've got my orange eight seconds f11 see what we get again okay, no movement so it may not yeah not moving the problem we have with this no movement is any dark patches behind show through because the ferns aren't moving to cover the dark patch i have to say even without movement there's some interesting photographs to be had so i've got my so i've got my yellow i've got my orange and i've got my red i'm going to get them back edit them in lightroom and photoshop to see what they look like i'll pop them in triplicate form i will put a board around each of them i'm probably going to go i may do two different types i may do a black border on a white background and a white border on a black background i've also taken uh, iPhone photograph using the slow shutter app and I must remember to do that shortly just to see what they come out like yeah simples simples I've got things crawling all bloody over me home the tea and a sherbet see ya <laughs>